Right now as we join you tonight, pump prowlers are stepping up their game in Dallas, we're hearing, stealing bank information with this new device that Dallas police tell us they have not seen before. Jeff Paul live in far north Dallas to explain how and what you can do to protect yourself. Well, Doug and Kaylee, so far it's happened at this gas station and three others, and you can't even see the devices. Investigators say the crooks are bearing the skimmers right here inside these outside kiosks, and they're now using Bluetooth technology so they can basically sit out in the parking lot and wait for your credit card information to instantly roll in. It's the fastest, most convenient way to fill up your tank, but it could cost you everything. I think that's terrible. Tracy Slostein pulls into this Exxon weekly and had no idea someone hacked into these machines and installed a Bluetooth enabled credit card skimmer. They could be over there just in the next parking lot, you know, reading information, hacking it off the computer. Dallas police say that's exactly what they discovered happening at four different Exxon gas stations throughout Dallas. If they can do it, in a split second and put it on. So they obviously have, they have knowledge of the pump. The latest one found just today. But it makes total sense being that Bluetooth is, you know, very uh, short range, easy to install, micro, small. Michael Deere says consumers or gas station owners could purchase one of these frequency detectors. The basic ones start at 200 bucks, but the more sophisticated instruments that pinpoint each specific frequency can run up to $500. It doesn't surprise me. You know, the thieves, criminals are always a step ahead. But the most obvious way to fight back against these Bluetooth skimmers, stop using plastic and stay away from these outside kiosks. Now that you have made me aware of it, I will probably ha get cash and go inside and pay. Now, police tell us if you're looking for a gas station trying to be safe, look for ones that have these security seals on them. If anyone has cracked inside the machines, those strips will be broken. Reporting live here in far north Dallas, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS.